What's good? What's good? What's good? All right, y'all. We back again. This one right here gonna be meal prepping. Be prepping for two weeks. Well, almost two weeks. I got enough for twelve uh, for twelve days here, but I got everything situated. And basically, what I'm about to do is, I got my meals planned out already. This is uh, right now. I'm gonna be using uh, my chicken, beef. Instead of uh, chicken liver, right now, y'all understand, y'all been in the stores, y'all know how it is with this whole pandemic thing, corona thing going on, everything not there. But my secondary to chicken liver is my, is my calf liver. So I'm going to be using calf liver uh, uh, for my amino acids and iron. Uh, as far as in my protein, I'm going to be using uh, my gizzards for my organ meat, uh, for my organ meat. So I have those situated. I got my ground beef. It's uh uh 7327. I didn't get the 80, the 80, 20 lean this winter time. Whatever fat that I can get, the best fat that I that I can get out of my animal fats. I want to get all of that. So I got the 7327 uh uh 27 uh right there. Three is three pounds here. Three pounds, three pounds of gizzards and a pound of uh, liver. I don't feed a whole lot of liver. I just feed a, a, a little bit of it. So I cut the pound up into uh, into uh, 16 slices. So I cut it up into fourths. I had four slices of it. I'm going to put I'm gonna dip it those up. One, one day, one or two days may have a little bit more than the other. But I did do that while it was half frozen so I can get uh, good cuts out of it. Uh, over here, I got my leg quarters. What I did do, the bigger leg quarters, I did cut off the uh, the ends of them because what's going to end up happening is I'm going to end up putting three of those packages. I'm going to put uh, two leg quarters in each one of them for, for those meal days instead of these big heaping pieces of uh, breast that's already probably going to be uh, about 10 ounces of meat themselves. So... I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put those over uh in the bags, separate it off. All my meatballs here. I know I got I got uh three pounds. I want four ounces a piece. I just need twelve. I just need twelve meatballs out of here. If I was just going full on right now, I'm getting him adjust, getting his body adjusted. I don't know how his body going to adjust. Like I said, I was in a, one of those points where dog food was convenient for me for the hours that I was working during the holidays for my job and. I was working 14, 15 hour shifts, so I wasn't into prepping at, at, at that point. And uh, we just getting back going on the on the uh, on the raw diet. So he gonna have a little bit heavier meal for me to figure out where his body at. And then if I need to adjust, if he can hold too much weight, I can take a little bit back. But I'm doing four ounce meatballs right now, and I'm doing uh 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 ten ounces of uh, ten ounces of chicken is my plan roundabout. I got uh these probably gonna be about a little two ounce uh slithers of uh of calf liver and then I'm gonna have uh four ounces of gizzards. So I'll have uh twelve uh twelve uh balls of those gizzards. I got all my bags open up over here. If I can, I'm gonna try to prep all of this with one hand and hold the phone. I got my greens and carrots and I did. I, I wasn't able to get to the store and get no 7.45, so I have Dine. Dine is what I'm using as my supplement as far as uh, uh, putting more vitamins in right now. I got my cottage cheese. I got my coconut oil right now. I didn't go get the normal uh, big jug that I that I have, although I do have a little bit left now, so I will be using that. But you, I'm, I'm thinking about doing a keep for y'all, doing a, a slight keep for y'all and showing y'all some, some work. I got to see how I'm going to get this animal working. It, like I say, I ain't been working him. I ain't been messing with him or anything. So me thinking about doing a keep, I got my regular keep oil, coconut oil here. I got to go get me some fish oil. And uh, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to use my flaxseed oil this time or if I'm going to use my uh, wheat germ oil while I'm doing it with you. But most likely I'm going to use the flaxseed oil. Uh, I'll do my uh, do, do my keep like that. But uh I also do have would have another supplement that I have the rice bran oil. Like I told y'all, 
the full the combination oil jug that I have that I get from Tractor Supply that y'all that y'all seen the big blue jug. It does have a rice a rice bran oil base in it. I like rice bran oil for the benefits that it give you uh, uh, during workout as far as uh, the gamma resin oil building and building strength. So I have a supplement that's based in that that I use the uh, muscle up supplement that I that, that I use. So. I will I will be using that if I decide to go ahead and follow through with it. I got to see how my schedule going to be and everything. But I, I do want to do that for y'all. I guess I'm tipping somebody off. If they decide to do it, they can do it. You know, I, I ain't into that whole competing and messing with everybody. I'm going to run my content to where I run it and do it for y'all and do it for myself. And shit, we're going to sit back and enjoy it. I'm going to answer y'all questions the best as I can. But it is what it is, man. So here we go. Start breaking these breaking these meatballs down. In your meatballs separated, get them off. I'm eyeballing this, but shit, I done done it enough times where I can fix it up and make it the way it need to be. So let's see. Should get twelve or twelve of these out of here. And if I need to make some of them bigger at the end, I can take a little bit off and put a little bit on. It'd be all right. Ain't no big thing. But it ain't that hard. A lot of times that'd be the big thing when we working or when we when we uh got things going on in our life. Shit. I mind be preoccupied and you're like, man, I ain't prepping no damn food. But if you got one that you take into a show or that you getting ready to uh, uh, breed, you know, you got a sick puppy or, or, or elderly dog that you really want to put some extra nutrition in and some good care into. And you got to do what you got to do. You got to get in here and prep. And like I say, I don't expect people to be prepping for 20, 30 dogs. And then if you was feeding raw for 20, 30 dogs, you'd be feeding a whole lot different. You probably have some you know, a chicken farmer or something that you can get some chickens from or something. And you are you're getting your bags or uh, 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 quarters and you break them down and you'll be feeding a little bit of dog food in it with it. You know, you'll be stretching because all of this right here. It's not the same for something that that's just maintenance. So I wouldn't expect nobody to do that at least. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Guess I can make this one up now. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. So we got twelve right there. So we're just gonna keep on adding on to these. Until we kind of make them all equal and equal them out a little bit. And yeah, I'm going to bleach this sink out. Don't nobody come here talking that shit about, man, that nasty. Got to get out the beef and the meat and the chicken and all that shit in the sink. Man, if y'all grandmother ain't cooking in front of y'all and put meat in the sink and wash it out, I don't know where y'all from. Yeah, it is what it is. Shit, but yeah, I'm going to clean the sink out behind myself. We ain't going to do no nasty ass shit. Yeah. Let's see. You know, some of them might be a little bit off, but it'll be all right. It'll be all right. Overall, he'll get what he need. Ain't that right, Otto? You know what I like? Fuck that. Give me this food bowl, man. You got the fucking food bowl and you bullshit. Y'all see that didn't take long. So there you go. Your four ounce meatballs right there. All prepped up and ready. Got your slivers of, of, of liver here. Got your gizzards there. There we go. Okay. So my bags over here. Take my bags. All I'm putting in these bags right now is me. Only reason why all I'm putting in, in these bags is me is because my vegetables and uh my vegetables and my rice and all that that's gonna have to be cooked. Mm -hmm. 
That's gonna have to be cooked the day up. Let's look at that. That's a bag right there. We'll, we'll do 12 bags of these and shit. When we get every every day when we get in, I grab me a bowl, I bust my I chop my carrots up, get my uh, get my kale and spinach together. And I like to freeze that kale and freeze the spinach with it. And then I can crush it up real good. And then I can get me a, a, a cup of it, get me a measuring cup and just scoop my measuring cup out. And when I scoop my measuring cup out, I put that in with my carrots and I put them in the microwave here and steam them, steam them in the microwave, add my heaping ta uh, uh, tablespoon of uh, cottage cheese to it. Try not to go overboard with cottage cheese because, boy, you'll smell them farts from the dogs if you don't watch it. If you, if you got one in the house, you know, you'll see that you'll have to clean up that running mess if it started to mess up their stomach along with all that uh, with, with the oatmeal and stuff. You know, that's why I kind of adjust my oatmeal and rice because too much oatmeal will start to mess up their stomach. Oatmeal have more vitamin and nutrition than than the uh rice but at the same time they stomach don't every dog stomach don't adjust it as, as good but it is good for their skin it is good for vitamins and minerals you want to get your false face your false face in when you're doing when you, when you got your greens and everything so i mean it's 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 just that simple you know it didn't take me no time to break this down and get everything situated and start putting them start putting them in bags you know, like I say, 12 bags. I mean, I'm doing this with one hand right now. It's going to be one of the heavier days. And I'm a couple pieces. You know, if I, one of the heavier days that I work or something, that'll be one of them ones. But like I say, I'm, I'm work. I'm going to work on that for y'all. I got to see how this animal going to work and everything. I ain't been working with them and y'all might get one of those start to finish where we always talk about dogs that don't want to work y'all might get one of those start to finish where y'all see him where he don't want to work where he throwing the brakes on and then where we get him going because one thing about it is the dog is still a, a, a bulldog and he got a lot of energy and when he don't get to release that energy every once in a while he gonna grab something and, and fuck something up in this house so you know he can get a tennis ball or he go up and find a candy bag or a chip bag or something to snack. See, the pantry open right now. He can go in the pantry and raid the damn, raid the damn pantry and be done ate all the bread out of it. He didn't done that before. You got to watch it with that. You know, they get bloated and stuff. So dogs, that got a lot of energy. You want to kind of get a little work off on them. So that's why I'm kind of getting my mindset, getting in, in that mood, too, and get some, get some work out of them and knock some of that energy off of them, too. Okay, but you know, as good as uh, as, as much as this, I can help y'all. As much as this help y'all, man. Hey, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. You know, that's all I'm here for. Give a little help. Give a little advice. You know, I learned some things too here. Shit, I ain't a know it all. I don't know everything. And the shit, if we can do some research together, we can do some research together. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, you got some questions and I can go research and figure out some things. I'm a person that don't mind reading because shit, if you don't read, you motherfucking hide anything from you. You know. But y'all, I'm going to shut this one off. I'm going to cut this one short. You know, that's what it is. But hey, y'all take it. Y'all take it easy, man. Be careful. See y'all next time. Peace.